What's up, Beard Brand? It's Charlie Hoobler here cutting some hair in the Jams and Rose Club for you. We're doing a, a mid skin fade, fingers length on top, all choppy, all messy. Hoobler out. What I'm going to do is start off by sectioning off the top, just get that out of my way. Don't need to deal with that just yet. Let's just focus on the back and sides. Got my war icons, uh, one and a half guard, closed. I'm just going to remove this weight. Probably going to do it just above the temple. Flicking out as I get to the top. What I'm going to do with this fade is I'm going to put in my longest length, which is going to be this one and a half guard. And then I'm going to put in my shortest length, which is going to be my detailers and foils. And then I'm just going to work the gap in between. It must be expensive to do that to do Oh, massively. Yeah. Now down to the uh, Andes Lithiums. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up to the O bone. I do, mate. And uh, I'm just going to go straight across. Why, what happened? Where's your stuff? My foil, I've got foils, but they're just not as good as the uh, wall foils. I started using the wall foils instead of the Andes, and I thought they were so much better. Get them on a, in the trade show in Vegas, I think, or something like that. And then um, I had a. You're going to become famous, mate, over in America. Yeah, I think like, the average video is like 500,000 plus. Yeah, man. Yeah. What, in like Target? Yeah. It's mad that. Now I'm just taking my uh, detailer line below the temple and I've just gone arced my way around. So it kind of does like a slight, slight S motion where it goes down and dips to the O-bone. Keep the skin nice and taut and just go over it with your wall foils, five star foils. As you start breaching the top line here with the detailers, that's when you flick out like that. So at the bottom, nice and tight and firm. And as I work my way up, I flick out. The reason I flick is just to make sure I don't make a line with the foils. When it comes to going around the ears, I just like to flick it over. And just use the bottom blade. Again, using that flicking motion as I get to the top so I don't make any solid lines. Fold the ear over, just get behind it. Don't be afraid to just like fold the ear and move the ear. It doesn't hurt them, it doesn't just get it out of your way. Start off with my uh, closed one guard on my wall icons and just go just underneath that one and a half guard that I made earlier. like I do with all my guards, flick as you get to the top. Now onto my uh, 0.5 guard. I'm gonna go underneath my one line. And with this, I'm literally just licking the line. I'm not holding the clippers flat on them at a little bit of an angle. I'm just flicking. If I was to hold them flat, I'd probably end up making another line with my one. So I'm just flicking it. It makes it a bit softer. No guard, and I'm just slightly opened at halfway, so that's like a 0.25. And I'm just gonna, with a very, like the free teeth on the very edge of the clippers, just work that line. This is your finishing touch on the fade. The reason you're, you're only using the corner of your clipper is just to like break up that line, the very final touches. Those are lovely cards, like. Yeah. 
Who, Isaac, can you change this now? Oh, oh cheers, mate. Nice. Anyways, what, what I've been doing, what I've been talking absolute Funny crap. Is I've uh, just wet down that uh, baseline with a one and a half I left off. And I'm just scissor over combing. Just blending my way out, softening up that line. Where's Josh? Doesn't he? Move to, uh, to Brighton. It's moving to Brighton. What are you gonna do, mate? If he moves to Brighton, I don't know. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have to go to Texas. You're gonna have to go with him to, to Brighton. Alright, I'm gonna go to Texas now. I've got to find this Greg guy, I've got to find out what he looks like. So now we're moving on to the top. What we're gonna do is just comb out how the crown wants to sit, how it naturally wants to fall. So yeah, we're thinking fingers length, aren't we, man? And yeah. just real choppy, messy. Yeah. Nice one, bro. Sweet, so to achieve that, what I'm gonna do is, I found the crown, it's about here. So what I'm gonna do is just off the center of the crown, about here, just to the right of it, I'm gonna take it straight across. Straight to the recede. Comb that out of my way. Sweet. And then where that corner is, same with the side. And then you're just going to take segments out of it and point cut. Is that Italian? Is that Italian? What is that? <laughs> Don't speak Italian, mate. Konnichiwa. Well, you know, as they say in Japan, when in Rome. Nice. So now we've done these both two sides here. We're only left with this centerpiece here. So what I'm going to do go straight across. Nice, that's where I left off. And I club cut that kind of, and I'll just point cut. Oops, my oh, finger clean off. Who's this? It's that triple X guy, isn't it? And there you go, that's where I left off on the other side. So we just nicely meet up. All right, sweet, so this is where I left off earlier. Not just a tip, Greg's tip. Not, not just Greg's yeah, tip. So glad I got up at 2.30 in the morning to be here. 2.30 in the morning, Jesus. No, I just couldn't sleep, man. I was thinking about you all. We got it, it's cold yeah. outside, mate. What was it actually? I need to get some videos of Charlie. Talking crap, but giving quality haircuts. Yeah. Mainly talking crap. I'm not even sure which one is what. Which one's around? <laughs> all right. Quality chat, but crap haircuts, or quality haircuts, but crap chat? Sweet. So that's still a little bit too long, man. That's fine, that's That's sweet, yeah. man. So I can still nicely go up and over. Going through the hair, now that I've got the desired length that I want, I'm just adding like a little bit more texture by running through all my scissors. As I go into the hair. You're picking his brains. Picking his brains. So I go into the hair with open blades and as I pull out, I close. So I'm only taking hair on my way out. I mean, I would be scared of doing that, stabbing someone in the head. Yeah. It takes a bit of practice, but as long as he doesn't. Not you any? No, no. Not yet. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going over these edges of the haircut with the thinning shears, just to soften it up a bit. So now that we're uh, done, I'm now just going to add the finishing touches, putting some uh, Beard Brand Tea Tree Sea Salt Spray. Uh, it just get, makes it a little bit more messier, that little bit more surfer kind of choppy mess. Spray it in when it's wet. Common these tattoos. That's about it. Yeah, no one has tattoos. Sweet man, how's I feel? Just got that like yeah. nice mid skin fade. Yeah. Just blends up from there. Nice one, bro. Got it for the camera, Carlos. No, we're just doing it for Hollywood. Happy? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Good 
Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.